It's so bright. Way better. Way better. Yeah, it's fine. Right. It's okay. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, because it's so bright. Oh, so that's exciting. Your tires look brand new. Yep, brand new. I see the little knobs. Yep. Power pure. Oh, nice. We're going to try like a multitude of different tires just to check them all out. See what's out there. Make a good excuse to do your like review videos and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Right. You even got different mirrors too for this. Right? Because they're the stock ones. I feel, like, I feel like they're bigger than the stock ones. They are. I don't know. They were on there <laughs> when I bought it. So. Nice. Yeah. Including the shield? It's pretty brutal on a bike when you go down. Yeah, I. Better than nothing. And like I said, it's good this Eighty-nine A in Arizona is a is a ride that you want to take someday, okay. because it's the scenic route with Sedona, um, the cliffs, and everything is just amazing. So I don't know how I'll be on a Grom. I mean, if you started in Flagstaff, it'd be great, but you're driving from 7,000 feet elevation to about 1,500 if you get to Phoenix. Yeah. So that means coming back up would be such a big pain. Yeah, do. So I don't know if you want to make that ride, which... Right, especially going to Colorado after New Mexico. Somebody was telling me, they were like, every time... Right. Right. Yeah. If if you go down 89A from Flagstaff to about Sedona-ish, um, you will be you'll be having fun tucking in, taking the turns, yeah. <laughs> practicing all that. The crew girls make it better too. That's like getting anywhere here is just like straight day. Right. That's the only curves in Arizona. Otherwise, once you make it to Phoenix, it's grid. Yeah. It's a grid life there. That's why I'm excited to get into the mountains and stuff because that'll, that'll take away some of the disadvantages of top speed. Right, right, full throttle. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much full throttle. Full throttle, 20 miles an hour. Let's go. And I'm used to that, that V strip, that V strip 1000. Yeah? Oh, completely. Oh, here's the. Oh, <laughs> this is why people don't like these. Yeah. So wait. There we go. Now I can see my shots. Oh, yeah. I almost got it, but the six was like the stabilization was like almost as good, and it was like hundred bucks cheaper at least. So I was just like, this is the six instead of the seven. The, the six is nice, but. That's and I've watched the comparison video between the Osmo Action and the, the Hero 7 or whatever, and they mm -hmm. seem like they're pretty on par. They seem almost exactly the same to me. Right. Same. It's cool. I mean, I have a 7, so having this Osmo Action to me is like ideal. Yeah, definitely. Well, and then I'm. Doesn't that not. Osmo? Osmo Action has a <laughs> color profile, so if you have the... Yeah. You see that all my cables hit. I love there. that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just noticed it. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, and you can pull this out. Oh. So you, can... you made it yourself. Yes, you found an it. elastic band. Yep, some elastic band stapled it to some corrugated plastic. That, you know, that's ideal. That's actually <laughs> great. Was that hiding underneath? Yeah, it goes on top. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Um, and I, I have another lens too, I just didn't bring it, but got it. Which one do you have? I've got the kit lens, which is a 1855. 55, yeah. I've got a, a 35 prime. One uh, four? Well, I'm sorry, one eight. Yeah. Right. The one that's, eight. That's, that's really good for night pictures and stuff like that. Yeah. 
Um, and then I've got the, it's like the 70 to 300 zoom mm -hmm. that, uh, oh, I don't remember the aperture on it. But it's, it's, it's probably not, a, it's not, it's like four and a half to 6.3 or something. Yeah, 4.5 to 6.3, exactly. It's not great, but it's fine for the tape time. And yeah. having the 300 millimeter focal length is super useful. So, yes, when I you're in Alaska, keep the bears. bears keep the bears at the distance please <laughs> That's right, yeah. we want you to come back home safe uh, I got indie filters for everything too for you know doing film stuff especially mm -hmm. uh, everything plugs into this uh, USB hub here oh nice it actually comes out the back it's got a wired clamp I don't have it we gotta go solder it before I leave but mm -hmm. it's got a wired clamp so you just uh, it's got like a uh, cigarette yeah. plug coming out of it so I just I put this on my bike and plug it in and everything inside charges itself out of it so very nice ideal yeah that should make everything as easy as possible yeah nice well yeah. I'm excited definitely at least be safe yeah sure. yeah and thank you for this yeah well thank you yeah <laughs> yeah I feel like putting on the <laughs> there you go. Grom and revving. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll see ya. <laughs> you, you too. Right again. Ride safe. Yep. Yes, sir. Here I am. <laughs>